please, somebody tell me. Please, please, please tell me. Would you rather be in an intimate environment, whether it's um, whatever, an intimate environment, or would you rather be on a stage as a comedian with somebody running up on you, attempting to tackle you, take you down, um, carrying an automatic weapon, possibly, or a stick em kind of weapon or something like that. I'm just asking you, which one is better? What would you rather be doing? What I'm saying, relaxing in a comfortable environment, picking popcorn and stuff out of your teeth or whatnot, um, or this, having to run around for your life, or let's flip it, you wanna be on the other side? Do you wanna be the person in attack mode? What is this? Is this a young versus old thing? Is this an ignorance versus intelligence? What is this? You know, the Bible talks about mothers being against sons and sons being against their mom, fathers or whatever, or daughters against fathers. And, and we got this rampage stuff that is going on. I'm asking y'all, would you rather have a delinquent child that's going crazy trying to emphasize and express that they deserve to be loved a certain kind of way or would you say you know what i'm not gonna smoke a blunt i'm not gonna get drunk this evening i'm just gonna go and have sex i'm gonna see if i can release whatever frustrations or uh, compassion that i can on somebody from a sexual standpoint as opposed to just keep on eating these bullets from the police department or people running up on stage, uh, insulting you, uh, tackling you. What's next? You get what I'm saying? So I'm just saying y'all should huddle up right now and figure out in this game, which problem do you want to have? The problem of somebody coming to kill you or somebody coming to have sex with you? Y'all want to talk about sex scars? Or you want to hear about street scars? I think it's better to have a scar on your body that came from some kind of love-making process with somebody you want to be in the sex-making process with as opposed to having some kind of body scars from uh, somebody that you didn't want to have no body scars from that may have ran up on you that because you was having sex with somebody that they have sex with or pay bills for. A street scar can be somebody bringing a knife to the table, poking you in your hip like Longinus. That's somebody from the Bible, I believe. Ain't that right? Longinus out the Bible? Yeah, but anyway, um, I think it's better, once again, to have uh, uh, somebody that you are with that you are having some kind of sex scar from don't take a negative, it's not rape, quit playing. A street scar can also come from somebody having their money messed up. In a prostitution game, if you ain't got your money right, what you're doing when you approach a woman in that type of situation, it could become some kind of scar because the sex either happened for free and you didn't pay for it, or you owe money or whatnot. But yeah, it can be some scars that can follow after that. Oh, y'all talking about the mental scars, the scars that you have mentally because the person you had sex with don't care nothing about you. Well, as a matter of fact, I think you're kind of upset and kind of pissed because they're not in love with you. We all saw a thin line between love and hate when Martin was caught in that one spot where he was on top of it. He was like, and she wasn't going to give him none. So he said, he mumbled them three words, I love you. And when he said that, all hell broke loose. So I'm telling you right now, be careful with the words that you're spitting out of your mouth like that because it can create some sex scars. I'm telling you right now, it can. Be careful. If you can, get past the desire, get past it. Let it go. If you can survive it, go get you a hot shower, cold shower, anything that you can do to try to relieve that pressure. I'm telling you, because if you want to have some sex scars, it's going to be a problem for you dream of being with a beautiful woman, fantasizing, visualizing what it would be like, 
Next thing you know, like a casino machine, 777, boom, bam, blah. Now this guy's been introduced into a new world. And this dreaming of sex, this is called a wet dream for those of y'all that are still confused. Y'all sons went through it, going through it. So I'm telling you now, if you got one that's younger, pay attention, show him love, try to help him out. He's dreaming of sex. What you gonna do about it? Hey, what's after sex? Commitment? Well, commitment should be before sex, right? What about these kids that are experiencing sexual things right now as we speak? They need help. I just want to bring in awareness that we all need to do this stuff the right way. We need to get off our ass and be more adults, more respectful, doing things where we need to get it done, help these kids, help ourselves. So what's after sex? What's after sex is actually knowledge if you didn't have it before. But you can slam the brakes on it now. Try to do better than what you was doing. Move forward in your life and do everything out of respect for yourself and the other people involved. Love y'all.